Well, it's cold, windy, and in some cases, snowy in the east. Good evening. Welcome to Weather Center. I'm Dave Schwartz. And I'm Lisa Moser. Uh, when you wake up tomorrow in New York, you can expect several inches of snow on the ground. And the leading uh, edge of this story uh, taking place right now. That's right. Let's take a look out to the northeast. This is the forecast for tonight. You'll notice that it does include uh, much of the southern and eastern areas of Massachusetts, all of Connecticut, all of Rhode Island, and looking at much of northern uh, New Jersey. Watch out from the Poconos to Pennsylvania. Now, not exactly everyone in this swath of purple is going to see 12 inches of snow. But these are the areas, especially in the high elevated areas, that are likely to see that 8 to 12 or more inches of snow accumulate as we go through these overnight hours and early morning hours. A little more widespread, we're looking and anticipating 3 to 6 inches of snow. That does include much of Pennsylvania, uh, parts of southern uh, New Hampshire, Vermont, and northern Massachusetts, and even wider yet, looking at 1 to 3 inches of snow. Although, if we were to just kind of zoom in to West Virginia, we could probably already see a, a number of areas over three inches of snow, even a few that are likely to approach six, maybe even seven inches by tomorrow morning. Looking at the regional radar, look at the mix of precip. Now, you may recall much of the day as we were keeping in touch with Jim Cantori, who's been live in New York City, uh, reporting mostly freezing drizzle. Now in Manhattan, we're beginning to see the snow add up. Much of the day we were looking at uh, dry conditions across Massachusetts, but about 9 o'clock and thereon, we begin to see the snow accumulate, and it's been fairly steady. Mike Seidel is on location in Boston, Massachusetts, and he's keeping a close eye on conditions here, and he says the snow is pretty powdery. It's very cold across New England. A, a little more wet across New York and Philadelphia, but here, too, the snow is beginning to fall. Uh, be prepared for delays, not only across the ground, uh, the major highways and byways, but also in the air. Uh, much of the day we've been looking at Newark and also Philadelphia with a 15 and a 30 minute delay. And I'll check on that to see if that is still in effect. As a matter of fact, I'll ask Dave Swartz, who's standing by here in the studio, to get that uh, for me. Would you please, Dave? Again, if you are doing some traveling, conditions have been pretty bad across the mid Appalachians, going from Charleston, West Virginia, up to Pitt. Or arrival delays. There are some at Reagan National in Washington, D.C., because they're treating the runways. They're removing the snow, and they are treating them. So uh, keep that in mind if you have a late flight here tonight. That snow will continue in Washington, D.C., so there may be some delays here in the morning. Cold air into the south? You bet. We had the cold front slice through central and southern Florida today. Thunderstorms were the result, and it turned windy and colder. Now the rain is out of here. The atmosphere is drying out. Freeze warnings are in effect all the way into Gale and Hartford and Philadelphia now. Baltimore also snowing. It'll remain snowy all night long. Snow will end from west to east across Pennsylvania, but hang in in New Jersey, New York City, and up into southern New England for the first half of the day before the storm finally makes its way out and high pressure builds in. Then here on the west coast, have a look at it in just a minute. Yeah, we continue our coverage of the winter blitz overnight tonight. Mm -hmm. 